Hey everybody, welcome back. So um, I thought I'd come on and just do a really quick one. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine today and I, I've had this feeling in my withdrawal uh, since about the summer of 2021. So I entered my withdrawal in uh, January of 2020. <laughs> it just sounds crazy to even say that out loud, doesn't it? Like, I've been dealing with this for three years. That sounds nuts. And I've got years to go. But that is the reality. But I've had this particular symptom since the summer of 2021 when I went into acute after I had like a crisis with supplements and everything went cattywampus on me. And it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's something I, I often struggle to put words to. It's It feels like I've said sometimes on here, like like I'm driving around with like a tarp and a bloody shovel in my trunk waiting to be pulled over for a crime I didn't commit. It's like a mixture of that feeling with a sense of like something's wrong, but I don't know what it is. And then it's also like anything I look at, like any memory, anything in my current situation, a word, something I hear something I see can have like a creepy factor to it. Um, and it's like a mixture of that, sh- the shovel and tarp feeling something's wrong, something's not right. Um, this feeling of, of um, again, like looking at the world past, present, any, and future, I guess, but past and present, that everything can feel distorted or it can feel really creepy. It can feel really ominous. There's like an ominous tone, almost as if my life had like a a suspenseful backdrop music to it all the time for no reason at all. I'm basically up letting the dog out or making breakfast or making my bed and there it is. Or somebody can say a word and I can think, oh God, don't say that. that. And I don't know why that scares me. Or, oh, I thought about this and that scares me. And I, we know what this is. We talk about the fact that it's like the viewfinder, right? Remember those little games when we were kids? And, you know, you have the slides that you're looking at. Well, what we're looking at is not changed, but the view, the state of our viewfinder has changed, state driving story. And so, you know, like there were days over Christmas where my viewfinder was working perfectly. It was like a brand new viewfinder. Everything I was looking at was, I was seeing it clearly. I was seeing it in color. I was seeing it with some joy and some peace. And then a couple days later, after things kind of crashed, you know, the viewfinder gets mucked up. It's like my three-year-old, it's like my two-and-a-half-year-old niece has gotten hold of it and has put like, you know, some yogurt and some cookie crumbles and saliva and, you know, some of her juice box like has fallen into this thing and it's like a sticky mess. And the same slide goes in, but now I see it all distorted and weird and, you know, that's kind of what I think is going on, obviously, the lens through which I see things when the state of my nervous system is working versus not fundamentally changes. But the feeling that comes with it is it is it is such a horrible thought feeling combo. And like I said, it's all of these. So I came up with the word the dreeps, you know, like kind of like the creeps plus dread and some doom. You know, so I'm calling it the dreeps. And I'm just wondering if anybody else can relate to this, kind of the, the feeling of the dreeps, you know, where things are creepy and you don't know why. Things have an ominous, like again, like maybe you're living your life and if somebody were to put a, a score to it and, and music behind it, it would be some crazy, suspenseful, you know, urgent music, you know, that you would have in, 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 a, in a scary movie. But, you know, we're just basically folding clothes or brushing our teeth or talking to a loved one, you know, there's, there's no reason why there would be this suspenseful feeling and in, in the dreeps. So just wanted to make it a quick one, just wanted to put it out there and see if anyone else has this feeling, um, has this combo platter that comes together. I think it also might have a little bit of a, a little bit of a flavor of some depersonalization, derealization with it. I don't know. Um, because again, everything I say that because with DPDR, we get a lot of distortions um, and, you know, it's not that I'm necessarily seeing things visually distorted. Sometimes that happens, but it's more the feeling of it, the way I remember it, the way I hear it, the, the, a word can hit me the wrong way. Um, but again, for no apparent reason, the dreeps. So just wanted to check in with you guys and see if the dreeps is something that is, um, a little bit more universal or if it's just me. 
<laughs> me and my funky brain, funky nervous system. All right. Take care, guys.